Thank you all for coming back to my channel. This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. And it is time to look at New York City. Uh, Trump is meeting with some construction workers. People are gathering around. The mainstream media is having meltdowns every day. Tears with salt. So uh, we've been saying this for a long time. Uh, if New York, if you live in New York right now and you're not voting for Trump, listen, you're going to get what you deserve. Okay. One man is good for business for this country. One man is good on policies. One man is good for closed borders. One man is good to lower inflation. One man is better on the world stage. And that's Donald Trump. Okay. What well, it doesn't matter what the mainstream media is talking about. They're just a couple of people owned by a couple of companies. They don't represent the real we, the people. They just simply don't. Okay. So it doesn't matter what they say anymore. All right. Now I want to show you a clip here because everywhere Trump goes, he just gets love. I, you know, it's no other way to put it. There's if you look at Joe Biden and his campaign trail, there's like three people and they're all secret service. It's a love fest. I built many buildings with them. They're great people, great, great contractors and great people. And uh, I have a lot of support. I hear uh, the Teamsters, you know, I've done a lot of work with Teamsters. I built a lot of buildings with the Teamsters and they like me, a lot of Teamsters here. <laughs> and it's an amazing show of affection. But we did a great job. How important is the union vote? And you're here in New York City, you're talking with these members. Do you think you can maybe change some of their minds if they were lifelong Democrats to vote for you? I think these maybe were Democrats, but for me, they're a Republican. There's not a Democrat in there. These are people, look at that building, look what we can do. We built a lot of great buildings in the city with these people. And uh, they've given me great support. They're really uh, amazing. They're, you know what? They're very, they're very, very talented people. They don't get the credit for it. They are, very few people can do what they do. We used to do three floors a week in concrete, and it was guys like this that did it. So it's very amazing. Did you know about? Have you thought of David Pecker's testimony so far? When was the last time you spoke to him? No, he's been very nice. I mean, he's been. Uh, David's been very nice. He's a nice guy. Did you know, Mr. President? Did you know about what's that? Are you the well, that you we have a big to case to today. This uh, judge isn't allowing me to go. Uh, we have a big case today in the Supreme Court on presidential immunity. A president has to have immunity. If, it, if you don't have immunity, you just have a ceremonial president. You won't have a president. Do you know about the payment? So we have a big, uh, so we have a very big case. Very big case going. Did you know about the payment? Say it, what? talented people, they're very smart, they know what to do, they're going to be very fair. Did you know about the payment to Charmy Daniels? So you guys heard that right there. I mean, he's pretty confident um, here in what's going on in New York City in terms of turning people, uh, what he says, on right. his team here who might have been lifelong Democrats. So right. that's kind of what we're hearing right yep. now. And he's going to continue, right, to walk around and talk. I think that he's dealing with the Republican Party chair. I think he's still doing it. That's Ed Cox. Uh, he is the son-in-law of Richard Nixon. Uh, the president has a, a history with the Nixon. Nixon identified him early as a presidential candidate in the future. Uh, Ed Cox is probably one of the most powerful people in New York. And you wonder, guys, the president's within 10 points of Joe Biden in New York. Joe Biden's going to go up to Syracuse today for a cop's funeral where they're having trouble getting state troopers to work in security mm. because no cops want to be protecting the president that it presumably is so weak on crime and punishment. I like that he's doing this before court. It's like when he went yeah. up to Harlem and he went to the bodega and he had so much um, support from the crowd in Harlem. Now he's doing this. This is at Park Avenue and uh, 48th, somewhere in that area. There's a big building that's been under construction for a long time, close to Trump Tower. And hopefully he'll do things like this um, more often, take advantage of being able to campaign in New York and in this area. The Democrats are going to wind up uh, uh, regretting that they've sequestered him in New York. Now, everything they're doing is going to backfire. That's the way it was designed to do. Okay. When you're going against the people that are doing the right things, you always get your ass busted. Okay. That's just how it goes. Time will tell who the criminals really are. Now, this is free campaigning for Donald Trump. He ain't got to do nothing except show up to court. Okay. 
The judge wanted to come to court, show up to court. Um, but what they're doing is waking up a monster. Th- that's what they're doing. Okay. He's going to blow Joe Biden out in every state. Mark my words. That's exactly what's going to happen. It's gotten so bad in every state. Okay. Um, New York was super blue. All right. But when you make it so bad for everybody, when, when nothing's affordable for anybody, this is what you can expect. You can expect to turn your city and your state a blood red. Okay, it's going to be dark red. It's it's going to be bright red, dark red, all colors of red, all shades. Okay, because uh, nothing beats a taste of your own medicine. Nothing beats. Uh, a president with bad policies except a president that knows how to deliver for the people making the economy better for everyone all people okay Uh, Joe Biden can't even go to police officers funerals just like uh, crappy Hochul they can't go they don't want they don't even want to give him protection to go okay because he's not law and order he is the actual criminal, okay? That's what we're talking about here. This is being exposed at the highest level, just like we knew it would. It just takes time. It just simply takes time so these criminals can be exposed. It hurts, though. It hurts watching them get away with things. It hurts watching them do these things to Trump. It really does. It pierces my soul, okay? To watch them persecute this man and he ain't done nothing wrong. When everybody loved him until he came down the, the escalator. It really hurts my feelings, man, that they're doing this to Trump. But like he said, success will be our greatest revenge. It will. And that's the best revenge, man. Uh, because these people on the left are actually vindictive. They want to get you back uh, with lies. They want to get you back with you know, indictments on you when you haven't done anything wrong. Unfair treatment is how they like to get you back because they don't like you out of hatred. But the best medicine, the best revenge will always be your great success. Okay. The enemy can't stand it. They are trying so hard to demonize Donald Trump every day. It's unbelievable. You just look at MSNBC, it ain't nothing but Trump stories. Like, these people are writing books. <laughs> he got five, six, seven hundred videos coming out. That's why we make so many videos about Trump, because we love him and they just they hate him so badly. It's crazy. That's all they do 24 7. It's unbelievable. Thankfully, people are starting to wake up. Thankfully, like, you know, people are starting to call them out on their bulge, you know, because if I don't, I think we would go crazy if people wouldn't start waking up soon. Like we couldn't see it in your face. Like we have to be able to see it in your face. Cause these people are crazy. Here's a heckler while MSNBC is trying to be serious and talking some trash about Trump here and how they think the case is supposed to go. Here's a heckler on MSNBC chanting fake news. <laughs> so, Ken, what, what are you expecting to hear at the court today? Good morning, Joe. Well, it's first important to point out that by the way the court has handled this case, it's already made a decision that's affected the presidential election because by not agreeing to take it up when Jack Smith first asked them to do so on an emergency basis uh, and then by not taking it on an expedited basis, sort of taking it under regular order here, they've already created and a significant delay here that means that this election case, however they rule, uh, can't go to trial probably before the fall. And now we come to exactly what they're considering here, which is the question of whether a president has absolute immunity. 
and then the, there's a second Yo, question here, which is whether this. anything that Donald Trump is accused of Wait, would actually constitute this. a president, a presidential act Yo, uh, implicated so, in the immunity question. Be, yeah. Yo, fake news. Just making sure you're okay. Do you need? Is everything okay? Yo, we hear someone yelling. Yeah, it's it's fine. We have a heckler here outside. Well, yes, okay. Yo, yeah, you know, look at how sinister these people look. They look so evil and wicked, man. Like they just. Like it's like when you lie so much, you don't have a good looking face. Like it's like you you have a lying face. You know, it, it's I don't it does anybody else know what I'm talking about here? <laughs> like when somebody's been lying continually, like they they just look a certain way. Like they just look so sinister. People are not in the background chanting fake news at these people for no reason, okay? They'll try to cover it up and switch it over on on and change it around and make it about Trump. But it's not. The real truth is people are fed up with the mainstream media. They absolutely hate the mainstream media because of the lies. People don't want to hear that. They want to hear the honest truth and they know when they've been fooled and tricked. Okay? They know when someone's lying to them. I just, the media, they, they, these people at the mainstream media, it's no way in the world that they don't know that we know what they're doing. But they're just continuing to do it for some odd reason. Hmm. I wonder what the reason is. I wonder why they just keep lying to us like this. Don't you ever wonder that? Why do they just keep lying to us like this, man? Almost like they're hiding something real bad, man. You know? It's just crazy. Uh, but we know when we're being lied to, mainstream media. We know it. We know that you're lying to us. And that's just it. You know, people are calling you out. You hate it. You're going to be con you're going to continue to be called out. Every chance we get. On every platform that we can possibly call you out on, we're going to do it because you've been dishonest. You're going against your political opponent using the justice system when he's done nothing wrong. So people are going to see it. They're going to know it. Uh, and they're going to be able to look at you and tell that you're lying. How about that? Uh, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. This has been Yup, I Said It. My name is Andre. Until the next time.